So you can see behind me some of my grandbabies. Uh, we have uh, number nine on the way. <laughs> it's the best. I got a question uh, that came from Tori, and um, she indicated that I've mentioned that Eve was the most difficult piece that I've ever written, and she's curious as to why. She writes, your two previous books dealt with deep questions about the human condition, and you mastered them exquisitely. Thank you, Tori. Um, you reveal grace and love in your stories with rare excellent. What makes Eve any different or more challenging? I think um, there's a lot of different ways to answer that question. One is I'm trying to consolidate 40 years of work on this particular issue. So condensing that kind of work is difficult. Another thing is that I'm dealing specifically with a narrative that already exists out there a really strong narrative for Genesis 2 and 3. So it's not like I'm uh, dealing with the general character and nature of God as good um, or the process of the human heart in terms of reconstruction, like in Crossroads. Um, but I'm actually focused on a particular subject. The, what made it so hard was that I had to take that subject and, and put it inside story, which I want to do because story has a way of um, creating space that is respectful to the reader or the listener. And, um, and as Lewis would say, sneaks by your watchful dragons. Um, so I want story, um, but that's what made it so hard, is I want this book, this novel, accessible to a 15-year-old uh, young person and, um, um, and not become some kind of a a hidden piece of nonfiction wrapped up with an agenda. So it's it's that desire for being respectful for the reader, and uh, plus the years that it took to get to this point that um, m meant it was a very arduous piece of work. Just as an example, the book's about 73,000 words long. I took out 50,000 words in the editing process. So we'll see what we do with that. Thanks.